Kepha Shani, 2 Peter 2. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying Yahua that brought rather bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingers not, and their damnation slumbers not. For if Yah spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to Sheol, and delivered them into chains of darkness, to be watched unto the judgment of anguish, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the wicked, and turning the cities of Chedam and Amorah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that, after, should live in wickedness, and delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the Toraless, for that righteous man dwelling among them, in seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their Toraless deeds. Yahua knows, rather Yahua, knows how to deliver Eth, his Chassid, rather Chachid, out of temptations, and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government, presumptuous are they, self-willed, they are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. Whereas angels, which are greater in power and might, Bring not railing accusations against them before Yahuwah, ra, rather, Yahuwah. But these, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption, and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness, as they that counted pleasure to riot in the daytime. Spots they are and blemishes, sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you, having eyes full of adultery, and that cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls, a heart they have exercised with covetous practices, cursed children, which have forsaken the right way and are gone astray, following the way of Balaam, the son of Beor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness, but was rebuked for his iniquity. The dumb ass speaking with man's voice forbade the madness of the prophet. These are wells without water, clouds that are carried away with the tempest, to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lusts of the flesh. Eth, through much wantonness, those that were clean escaped from them who live in error. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. For of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he brought in bondage. For if they, rather, after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of Adonai and the Savior, Yahusha HaMashiach, they are again entangled therein and overcome, the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than, after they have known it, to turn back from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But... It has happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the sow, rather sow that was washed to her wallowing, 
in the mire 